G'day, how's it going? So I just changed the, the wheel bearings on my trailer and thought I'd put together a little spares kit for the just to carry around in the trailer for uh, just in case I have emergency wheel bearing repairs or I need to replace one on the side of the road. So I've just taken the old bearings out and inspected them. They're all good. Uh, that's the inner and that's the outer bearing. Um, both pretty good for uh, emergency replacement. So what I'm going to do is fill it with grease. This is just um, bearing grease. Um, just standard stuff. There's not much there, but you don't need it a whole lot. I'm going to put them in um, the little toolbox on the on the tongue of the trailer. Just carry them around in case I um, run into trouble. So to pack the bearings, just chuck a glob of grease on your hand. Go around with the bearing like so, and you'll see it start to come through there. Hopefully we'll see the old grease come out first, which will then be slowly replaced by the new grease. It's important to do this, otherwise your bearings are just going to burn up and you'll be, you'll be stuck. They'll basically weld themselves to the stub axle and you'll be seized. You could lose lose your stub axle um, and run into all kinds of trouble. So you want to make sure they're packed really tightly with grease. What I'm going to do is just pack them with grease and then put them in a bag so I don't have to carry grease around with me. I haven't done it before. Hopefully it, it, um, it lasts for however long it needs to. Just grab your grease, start again. I can't say why it won't if I just put it in a in a bag and seal it from the elements uh, should be fine I reckon so you can see the grease has um, started to come through that top side probably just need a little bit more just to make sure it's well and truly all through it. A bit more. Cut the whole thing in grease. Okay. There we go. That's hopefully ready to ready to chuck into onto a trailer if need be. I'm just gonna put it in this bag. There we go. I'll clean the bag up a bit later. But that'll just sit permanently in the trailer. You'll need more grease for this inboard bearing. Go through the same process as you were before. Essentially, putting pressure um, underneath the bearing so the grease has only one way to go, and that's through the rollers or whatever they are. I want to try and replace the old bearing grease, depending on the quality. I did degrease these bearings first. There's no real art to this, it's just go through the same motions until, until you've got enough grease packed into the inside the bearing. There we go. Chuck this one in the bag. Clean the bag up a little bit. Gloves off. 
put some of the grease back. Waste not, want not. So. Gloves off. I'm also going to... Leave your little bag just with your bearings in it. Nothing to it. There's a container. I put the old racers in there and there's the um, inner seal which can be reused in an emergency. It's probably not recommended. I'm going to chuck a new cotter pin in and just a pair of huge butyl gloves. Chuck them in there as well. I'll just clean that up before I put it in but there you go. A little kit that can sit in the trailer in case you need to change the wheel bearings on the side of the road. Catch us later.